It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. Pretty guys, the Crown Tundra presentation direct. A full presentation on the Isle of Armor Crown Tundra DLC by Pokemon. This is about to be wild. I'm actually streaming this with my friends at twitch.tv slash gfuelenergy, where you could save 30% off right now with code ADRIVE. And in this video, we are going to actually watch it live and react it live with the ADRIVE army, the G Fuel fam, everybody. It's going to be crazy. I'm actually about to jump into some leaks here and just kind of go over some of that stuff. But I'm really excited for this announcement because we're most likely going to get the reveal of the release date. And that's one of the biggest question marks right now is what is going down with that release date? Is it going to be today? Is it going to be mid-October? Is it going to be November like we originally thought? And there's some rumors that this presentation is about 11 minutes long from kind of a Google cache type of archive type of thing that's kind of demonstrating that this presentation may be about 11 minutes long. So this could be pretty significant amount of stuff. If you guys are seeing this on YouTube after the fact, be sure to like the video and make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post Pokemon videos every single day and YouTube actually tells me that over 50% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed, which is crazy. So you might not be subscribed and not even realize this. So just click that subscribe button. That way you know when my videos go up. I post, like I said, Pokemon videos every single day and you do not want to miss our coverage of Crown Tundra and beyond, including my awesome series, Shining Sword right now. But let's start talking about some of these leaks and then we're going to go into the actual announcement, which is about eight minutes from now. So let's do it. So a couple things. Again, massive spoiler warnings, by the way. Uh, thank you, JC. Massive spoiler warnings. Okay. So the first thing we know, uh, just to kind of paraphrase, we know that the Crown Tundra is significantly bigger than the Isle of Armor. We're assuming it to be two to four times the size just based on the map leaks, right? So we're assuming it's going to be significantly larger in terms of area right um so that's something to note there in terms of new forms the game coding only illustrated one new galarian form being galarian slow king we obviously know about galarian uh zapdos articuno and moltres the new forms of the original birds and we also know about the fact that there's going to be two new reggie forms reggie eliki and reggie draco all right so we know about those two things my audio quality is not choppy refresh man that's on your end I assure you my audio is not choppy. All right. So we do know that we're going to have those two uh, new Reggie forms, Reggie Eliki and Reggie Draco. The other thing we know about through leaks is that there are two codename Pokemon, codenamed White Horse and Black Horse. We believe those Pokemon can fuse with Calyrex. Calyrex, the new legendary mythical Pokemon. I don't actually know. Is it a legendary or is it mythical? I don't even know what the classification of that is. But um, we believe that they fuse with this Pokemon here, Calyrex, which just happens to have Triforces on it. Does that have anything to do with Legend of Zelda? I don't know. But it wouldn't be the craziest thing in the world for Pokemon and the Legend of Zelda universe to have some sort of crossover. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. By the way, I'm on Poke Jungle's website, by the way. Shout out to Poke Jungle. Some other things that we know here. We know about this, the Calyrex fusion. We don't know what's going on with the Hakuba and Kokuba. The white horse and black horse. We don't really know what's going on with that. We know that Zarud, which had a distribution in Japan, which you can access in America if you buy a movie ticket in Japan. They're kind of tricky to get, but if you know someone who lives there, you can actually get one. We know that there's an alternate form of Zarud, Dada Zarud, which has the little cape scarf on it. I don't think there's any differences in terms of anything there, just that it has the little cape or whatever. And then we know what Pokemon are returning to the Crown Tundra. We believe we know, right? This is from Data Mines. Again, these are hypothesized. They're not 100% con confirmed, but I believe this list to be accurate. It includes the Nidos, the Zubat line, Jinx, Electabuzz, Magmar, all the fossils, the legendary birds, Dragonite, which I think is going to be a menace in uh, Dynamax format, having its multi scale ability, having inner focus as well could also be viable, but primarily multi scale, paired with weakness policy, max airstream flies. That is going to be a menace, guys. Like, think about that as a possibility. Rocking Outrage, Fly, and then a coverage move like one of the punches. Uh, with Weakness Policy, you're boosting your speed with Max Airstream. That's going to be insane. Crobat could be a decent support with Tailwind. We see some baby Pokemon. We see uh, the legendary uh, Beast, Entei Raikou Suicune, Ho-Oh Lugia. The Gen 3 starters, uh, which I did in indicate there could be a possibility where those Gen 3 starters do get Gigantamax forms. Don't count on it, but just something to note. I, that would be a curveball that I would expect to be a possibility agron my man agg ron altaria of course some more fossils absol which we've seen already walrein 
And then Salamence, right? Forget Relicant, no one cares about that. Salamence, another potential menace in the VGC format. Very similar. Max Airstream boost with Fly into those Moxie boosts with its Moxie ability. Or Intimidate, which drops the attack stat of both Pokemon, right? On the opposing side of the field. Metagross, another massive Weakness Policy Dynamax candidate. We talk about a Mon that can activate Max uh, Steel Spikes to boost defense. Max Quakes to boost special defense. Can hit, set up Psyche Terrain to reduce those priority type moves. Very powerful Pokemon with Weakness Policy. In fact, Metagross is one of those Pokemon that actually used to use Weakness Policy before Dynamaxing, right? It would often be paired with like Bulldoze, um, Bulldoze Arcanine because it has clear body, so it doesn't, it's not affected by stat drops. So you can Bulldoze it, activate a Weakness Policy, and then you don't get the speed drop. So there's some really cool things there. That's how the old metagame was actually in, in uh, Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon. The Regis, of course, which could be threats, right? Especially if they get something special um laddies and then you've got the weather trio uh garchomp of course making its return the worst shot in the game you've got uh electivire magmordar the lake trio as well Uxie azelf mesprit then you got palkia dialga of course uh don pro remakes confirmed obviously uh, <laughs> uh heatran regigigas regigigas big question mark around that for those who have not thought about it regigigas known for its slow start ability which really hinders it in competitive it can now be paired with Galarian Weezing and its ability Neutralizing Gas. Neutralizing Gas ignores the abilities of Pokemon on the field, so it could actually ignore Regigigas' slow start and create it to be a very powerful Pokemon. One thing to note about Regigigas that's very interesting, it's got those three diamonds on its, on its chest to indicate the three Regis. What happens now that there's two more Regis? Does Regigigas get a Gigantamax form and have that represented somehow through its Gigantamax form? The fact that there's two new Regis that are involved now. Very interesting, right? We got Giratina, Cresselia, Victini. I love the speculation of the fact that Victini could get a Zero Aura treatment, and they actually released an event where if you do a certain amount of raids, they'll release Shiny Victini, which has never been uh, given before. We've never had Shiny Victini. Archaeops, another Pokemon much like Regigigas, benefits very heavily from Galarian Weezing, being able to ignore its defeatist ability. Archaeops has base 140 attack. That's actually probably the highest attack stat of any Pokemon on this list outside of a Legendary. So very, very powerful Pokemon there. Very fast, 2 110 speed. Genesect coming back very nice there. Uh, we see some other fossils and then of course the life uh, Pokemon Xerneas Eveltal and uh, and Zygarde then the Tapus of course Volcania and Deonce But the Tapus right and and I'll talk about that in a second and then the Ultra Beasts So we do believe through story leaks. We're about two minutes away by the way We do believe through story leaks that there are four chapters that they could reveal today the legendary tree of a legendary three which is likely based on that special tree that we've seen a few times and the possibilities of um, the, the bird trio. And then obviously the titans, which probably indicates the Regis. Ultra Beyond, Ultra Space, and then Sacred Bonds of Sovereign Steed. We believe this to have to do with those horse Pokemon that were leaked. Uh, and I mentioned the white horse and the dark horse. And then some other things here. Peony, Peony's daughter, and then another character which we're not really familiar with. So that is that team. All right. Oh man, 17 seconds. Oh gosh, it's time. It's time, dude. It's actually time. This is crazy. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. All right. Please don't release the Cron Tundra in October. Please come out in November. That's my only request. All right, let's do it. <laughs> oh, God. Hello, everyone. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Today, I'd like to present some new information on the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield game. Talk to me, Ishii. First, let's hear more about the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. Okay! Please have a look at this trailer. Here we go! I turned it up. Let me know if it needs to be louder. Okay! New Charizard forms! Okay, we're good. Zorark. Here we are, Crown Tundra. The Crown Tundra Part Two. There's Slow Kick reveal. We just saw it. That was the first reveal of Slow King. Nido King confirmed. Swablu Dragonite confirmed. Oh, look at that! The Articuno's floating above you. Zygarde confirmed, Cresselia, Tapu, Suicune. Would you like to go on a Dynamax adventure? Lando, God, no, keep it away. Kanto Birds confirmed. Galar's 
Star Tournament, which is VGC style. Oh, snap. And Clara's there, too. Is that Marnie's normal outfit? Oh, look at them using strats, dude. Pelipper Looney Loco. Why does he bring his mic stand? Probat tail winding, bro. Credilly, Metagross, Garchomp confirmed. All what we expected. Mewtwo confirmed, obviously. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. That looked tight, though, not even gonna lie. Wow. Sun Steel Strike. Oh my god, the birds, though! Reggie Alec, e. Draco. Pokemon following you confirmed, which we didn't know. That Slow King looks so dope. November, November, November. They're not gonna tell us yet, are they? So what did you think? Let's take a closer look at the new adventures awaiting you in the Galar region's Crown Tundra. In the Crown Tundra, the second area unlocked by your expansion pass, you'll explore a snow-swept expanse with new faces and new adventures. There, you'll meet Peony, who will put you in charge as his expedition chief. Your investigations will take you across snow-covered hills and into a Pokémon den, where you'll reach depths beyond those that max raid battles have taken you to previously. That's a but that's I'm really not all that awaits you in the Crown Tundra. Lots of legendary Pokémon call the area home, too. It looks like your adventures in this wintry land will give you an opportunity to obtain every legendary Pokémon that's appeared in the main okay. series all of Pokémon games so far. Some are exclusive, though. Many of those legendary Pokémon seem to dwell deep inside a special layer where Dynamax Pokémon are said to lurk, the same layer you can explore during Dynamax adventures. Team up with three other trainers to explore these caves. Interesting new UI. Battling wild Dynamax Pokémon as you make your way into the depths. And there's more. After adventuring in the Crown Tundra, you'll have the opportunity to form a dream team with some of the other trainers you've met in the Gala region for some red-hot battles in the new Galarian Star Tournament. You'll be able to pick a partner from among trainers you've met in Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield, and the game's respective expansion passes. Yeah, I'm teaming up with Mustard! Depending on who you team up with and who you face in battle, you might glimpse new sides of these familiar friends and foes that you didn't see on your path to becoming champion. We hope you'll enjoy your new adventures in the Crown Tundra. You'll be able to start exploring part two of the expansion passes, the Crown Tundra, on October 22nd! What's more, on November 6th, We'll be releasing all-in-one bundle versions of the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games that, that include their respective expansion passes. For anyone who hasn't visited the Galar region yet, this will be a great opportunity to come explore. And to celebrate the release of the Crown Tundra, some special Pikachu are on their way to you. To get these special Pikachu for yourself, you'll need passwords that will soon be revealed in various places. You can get the password for your first special Pikachu starting right now. Enjoy your ongoing adventures with your new Pikachu friends. Next, we have some news about Pokemon Home. Pokemon Go connectivity finally? The long-awaited link between Pokemon Go and Pokemon Home is coming. With this link, Pokemon you've caught in Pokemon Go will That's be able big. to set off on an adventure in the world of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield by way of Pokemon Home. What's more, if you send a Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Home, you'll be able to open the mystery box in Pokemon Go, 
Opening the mystery box will cause the mythical Pokémon Meltan to appear on your map in the app. You'll also receive a mystery gift in Pokémon Home. Finally! Containing a special Melmetal Finally, that is capable dude. of Gigantamaxing. Oh, man. A Melmetal like this it. hasn't been available until now. Oh, man. Continue your adventures in the Gala region with this special Melmetal wow, and unleash this the powerful G-Max move. That's been like we're weeks planning for so to have long. the link between Pokemon Go and Pokemon Home all set up before the end of 2020. Okay. Please stay tuned for more updates. That's all the new information about our games that we have for you today. I do have one last announcement for you though. Uh oh. To help commemorate the release of the Crown Tundra, we've made a special music video for you all. Oh, this was there a team is a music effort video. between Pokemon and the popular Japanese rock band Bump of Chicken. So, I'll wrap things up for today by inviting you to have a look. Please enjoy the video. Uh, do I mute this? We got the uh, we got the the Galarian Slow King here. Obviously, legendary Pokemon uh, from past games are back. That was a big one. All legendary Pokemon are, are returning. Uh, it does seem as though the leaked Pokedex is confirmed. Obviously, the 22nd, uh, which is... Uh, I'm upset about the October release, I've said, because of my own personal situation. I'm in the middle of moving this week, and I'm simply... I had a lot of plans for November that I'm not going to be able to do in October. It's, it's just simply... It just completely throws off all my schedule. But it is what it is, man. There's nothing I can do about it. If you enjoyed this video for me, I'm sure you're going to love this video right here. However, YouTube thinks that you're going to like this video. So check out one of my two videos, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.